Hey there, YouTube land, and hopefully I don't have pizza on my face, because that's what I'm eating right now, Domino's 50% off Mondays. So, this video is a special uh, contest entry video to uh, to Blu-ray Evan, and I want to congratulate him on getting 100 subscribers. If you're not subscribed to him, check him out, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, enter the contest. If you can't enter the contest, subscribe. <clears throat> uh, man, I remember when I got my first 100 subscribers, it was an awesome feeling, so... It just steamrolls from there. You're doing great. <laughs> love the channel. Love the stuff that you do. So just keep doing the stuff you're doing. And uh, keep passionate about the stuff you do. And, uh, and it'll show. So let's get into uh, doing this contest. So let's look at the questions. So my favorite animated movie. That's actually a really hard question. Uh, <coughs> favorite animated movie, animated movie of all time. So I'm going to ask my better half what her favorite animated movie of all time is. Yeah. So, Hind, what is your favorite animated movie of all time? See, that gives me time to uh, to think of my answer as I put her on the spot. She's like looking pe petrified, like, <clears throat> come on. Jungle Book. The Jungle Book is her favorite animated movie of all time. And my favorite is probably, hmm. Huh. Hmm. Oh, she knew hers right away, which, oh man, can you believe that? Uh, actually, honestly, it is probably a pretty cheesy answer. Uh, I grew up watching, like, the Disney stuff, and one of my, uh, the first that really caught my eye was Snow White and Seven Dwarfs, which I saw in the theater. Uh, not back when it came out, because then I'd be like Methuselah. Uh, but, uh, I did manage to catch it in one of its many re-releases, and the witch scared the hell out of me. So, yes, the witch scared me, and for that reason, me and Argento terrified of a, uh, of a Snow White and Seven Dwarfs. So, that's my answer. My favorite actor or actress. <clears throat> okay, one of each. Hind, your favorite actor and actress. I'm going to keep doing this because I'm putting her on the spot. So, I love this. Okay, who's your favorite actor and actress? Come on. I'm guessing they'll be French, right? Pass. She's passing on this one. Okay, well, I'm not passing because I have to do the, do the entry. So, my favorite actor, oh my god, uh, when I was growing up, who did I watch? Who, who inspired me? There's so many of them. Uh, my most influential actor growing up was probably Tom Baker because I watched a lot of Doctor Who. So, uh, not my favorite actor. Uh, my favorite actor of all time, acting-wise, oh my god, actress-wise, oh no, I really liked, uh, oh god, there's a few of them, actress-wise, there's so many, uh, I loved Joan Crawford's stuff, and I loved, uh, Betty Davis's stuff growing up, so, uh, watching the old movies on, uh, CBC Late Night, those were, uh, some of my favorites, so I'm gonna go with them, uh, and one of my favorite all-time actors was actually, uh, I love uh, Warner Olin, who played uh, Charlie Chan. Oh, Cary Grant. And she's a Cary Grant fan, so she did say something. Next up is my favorite movie of all time. Hmm. Hind, what's your favorite movie of all time? Did it again. Mm -hmm. Lord of the Rings. Her favorite movie of all time is Lord of the Rings. <clears throat> I actually... In Indiana Jones. I have a trifecta. <laughs> Star Wars. Oh, she has a trifecta of favorite movies, which is the original Star Wars, Indiana Jones, and the Temple of... And the, uh, three of them. Three, the Indiana Jones trilogy and the Lord of the Rings trilogy. So those those are trilogy trifectas. Me, uh, my favorite movie of all time, I don't know. Uh, one of my favorite movies of all time growing up. I recently talked about the De Palma films, and the, that's, the reason is because I was really influenced by De Palma's films when I was growing up. Even more so than... I, I love Hitchcock. And I watched probably my favorite Hitchcock movie back then. It was Shadow of Doubt. And it was probably one of the most influential movies on, when I was growing up. But my most influential movie growing up was a movie called Body Double. Uh, and it starred Craig Wasson, uh, Greg Henry, uh, the beautiful Deborah Shelton, who I was completely in love with as a kid, obsessed with, and uh, a little-known actress by the name of Melanie Griffith in one of her early roles. Uh, it was just... The way that the movie was done and it was shot, you get to a point when you're watching movies and you'll see a movie 
and it'll make you want to know more than just what the movie is. It'll make you want to know, like, behind the scenes and the actors and the actresses and how the movies were shot and stuff like that. And I was a big soap opera fan at the time. And I got to do, like, I'd been acting. I wanted to act. So I'd done, like, a lot of, like, uh, off, off stuff uh, where I literally uh, uh, kind of Shakespearean type stuff where I have tiny roles in, like, community theaters and stuff like that. And we get a lot of, like, soap actors and stuff coming through. And one of the ones that I used to uh, do a lot of soap opera work was an actor by the name of Lane Davies, who was on a show called Santa Barbara. He had a tiny part in the movie uh, uh, Body Double, which uh, stood out just because I knew that actor so well. Uh, not personally, I didn't know the actor personally, but from watching him on TV and knowing that he did so, kind of the, uh, that type of work that, that I did. Uh, it gave me a, kind of a, a feeling of like, you know, camaraderie. Some that I'd never met. Uh, because we had the uh, Shakespeare thing in there. So, yeah, Body Double was actually one of my favorite movies of all time. It's a, kind of a cheesy little thriller, but I uh, always loved it, loved the music. It was the first time I heard Frank Eagles of Hollywood and the uh, song Relax. And I uh, just, uh, you know, there's lo probably lots of movies I'm not thinking about, classic movies, you know, movies like Casablanca and The Untouchables and stuff like that. But, no, this was one that really just stood out as being that snapshot in time of, like, okay, th I want to have something to do with film after watching this movie. After seeing this movie, after seeing Greg Henry in this movie, I wanted to have something to do with film. Uh, I love the twist. And uh, it just got to me. And I started writing. So uh, thanks for watching. If you Wait, I got... Oh, I have another question. What do I like about your channel? Well, I answered that already, I think, in the first one. I like, I like your passion for your ch about your channel. And I like the, the fact that you're, uh, you, know, you, don't, you don't mind. You keep going. You roll to punches. You do you talk about the stuff that you want to talk about. I like the reactions on the, on the channel. I love the way that you that you come and you and re react to other people and you talk on other people's videos and you get responses. So I, I like that. I like the fact that you're active in your channel. And th in order to actually keep... Uh, that, that's how you get 100 subscribers. That's how you get to 200 subscribers is you're active on the channel and, you, and people realize yeah, this is something you care about. And this is obviously something that you care about a lot. <clears throat> so thanks a lot for uh, the 100 subscriber contest. Fingers crossed. Uh, you'll have 200 in no time. We'll be doing this thing all over again. So uh, have a great day. And for me right now, I'm going to go finish off my pizza and uh, get a drink because right now it's uh, time for tea.